Okay, so the other night I was watching some old Metallica videos because I was curious to see what they were up to between Ride the Lightning and the Master Puppets album. I know they were touring all the time. And so I checked out some old videos and I saw a video of them playing Creeping Death. And it was at this Hammer Fest festival, I think it was called. Anyways, I noticed on the one riff in Creeping Death, it was the third riff of the song, I believe, James began to do upstrokes, which is very strange because if you know James Hetfield's playing, he's notorious for being the fastest down picker ever, or one of them, I should say. And so it was really interesting to see him actually kind of give up on the downstrokes for a second and do what us mortals typically do, which is go to upstrokes, down and upstrokes, alternate picking. <laughs> And I thought, there's a lot of reasons for this. You know, it was the first song of the night. Uh, Lars was playing it really fast, like he always does live. But recently I saw them play here, not too long ago, probably less than a year ago. And they opened with Creeping Death, and I was watching his hand in the big screen, and he was doing all downstrokes. So that made me kind of curious, like, maybe back then they played it faster. So I thought, you know what, if I'm going to make a video saying this about James Hetfield, I better walk the walk myself. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so even doing that for what, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, I can already feel it in my skinny forearm, okay? So I've done this thing before where I really tried to buckle down and get my downstrokes fast. I made a whole video on down picking. And if you do that for a couple of weeks, you really become this machine able to do really fast down picking. Um, but to get it to the point where I'm playing at concert speed with of Metallica, 235 beats a minute, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, let's see. Oh geez. I did not get it at all. I was way off the beat. It felt tense. I didn't have the technique down because I was kind of panicking there. It felt really bad. But a good secret is to go even faster and then bring it back down and it'll feel less scary. Let's just do that for fun right now. Let's go up to 250. Oh, that's the highest it goes. Okay, we'll try 250. It'll be insane. I'll fail completely, but then we'll come back to 235. My hand just cramped up there. Okay, back to 235. Now that was just playing it at 250 once, failing and then going right back. If you did 250 for a few minutes it came back, it'd be a lot better. It did feel easier with 235 that time, but still really hard. So I'm gonna do what James did and see if I can make it sound half decent with alternate picking. Okay, I can really see why James went to alternate picking there. Coming out of it back into the riff was a little more playable, but man, it's still crazy. And we're talking still the very beginning of the song. He has to do the entire thing. Okay, now here's the best part of all of this failure today. I'm gonna go back down to the album speed and it should feel a lot easier, I hope. Okay guys, kind of a fun experiment to try to get your down picking up to speed. Do that little trick where you speed it up and go super fast to where you can, can't handle it and then come back down and everything feels easier. It's a great little trick to do. I think I originally learned that from a John Petrucci video way back in the day on VHS tape or something like that. But it really does work if you want to get up to speed. Uh, so give it a try. Let me know the results in the comment section and we'll catch you later. Okay, bye.